Hey everybody, this is Jeffa from Visually, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can import your Slack chats into ClickUp. So if you're using ClickUp as your task management tool, you have all of your work already stored within ClickUp. ClickUP has now introduced the functionality of chats, which is really replacing the Slack communication functionality. So you can now chat with your team members right within the tool that you're using to manage your work which is pretty cool because you can mention your work, you can kind of manage your work as well as chat with folks right within the same tool. We use ClickUp to manage our work within our agency and we wanted to see how we could migrate all of our Slack chats right within ClickUp. So I am going to show you how you can do that today. All right, if you have not started to use chat within ClickUp yet, you might not see it in the navigation bar on your left-hand side. So if you don't see chat, in your navigation bar, make sure you go into your click app settings and enable chat. So I'm going into my click apps and I see that my chat is enabled. All right, once you have your chat enabled, you should see it in your left hand navigation bar. So if you click on chat, this is where you have all of your different chat channels. You can do direct messages or you can create different chats and you can link chats to your different spaces and the list. So that's pretty cool. You can have a chat for each of your list and you can then access it from your list as well. So today I am going to show you how we can import your existing communication and conversation on Slack into ClickUp. So there's a couple ways. If you're already in the chat, you will find areas where you can just navigate to do import. So right within this chat, I see up here you can import from Slack. Another way to do it is if you come up to the right hand side and go into your settings, go into import export, and we can click start import. And we wanna select Slack. All right, and then select your workspace. Once your workspace is selected, go ahead and hit allow and you'll see all of your 30 channels. So what you can do is you can just say, hey, I want all of my 30 channels as new chats, and that will create all of your chats here, and they're not gonna be connected to any of your spaces. If you want these chats to be connected individually, you can click Customize Channels Individually, and you can do Customize Spaces Individually. So here's all of your Slack channels, and this is what you wanna do with them within ClickUp. So say, for example, I have my Bidgely Search Slack channel, I want this to create a new chat. If you want to import them as lists within ClickUp, you would go ahead and select which space you wanna create a list in. So if I have Bidgely Marketing in CRM, what this is going to do is not only is it going to create a chat, it is going to go into my CRM space and it's going to create a list as well. So if you wanna create lists for all of these spaces, you can go ahead and select which space you want to create that list in. So for example, marketing, I'm gonna go ahead and create a list within my CRM space. My Visually Podcast, I'll go ahead and also have this as a list that gets created. I don't want a lot of lists to get created, so I'm just gonna do those two as the list and then everything else I'm going to do as a new chat. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. This is where I'm able to select my owners who I wanna import. I uh, don't wanna import some of these, so I'm just gonna hit the X button. Don't wanna import them. I don't wanna import them and I don't wanna import them. Uh, I'm already a user here, so I'm just gonna select myself. I'm gonna select my team members here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. I'm going to say import all attachments and import all reactions. I'm going to do I'm going to do unlimited just because we don't always have a lot of activity in our channels. And now we are waiting for our import. While we wait for our import, just a couple little things that I want to point out about chats. I've just started to use it recently because our agency does use ClickUp quite actively to manage our tasks. So we thought why not see if we can communicate right within the same tool? A couple caveats that we've experienced just with the little amount of time that we've been using it is the notifications aren't as great as Slack, I would say. Slack, when you get a notification, you do hear a sound, you get a ping on your phone. So whatever you have it downloaded on, you kind of hear it everywhere. 
ClickUp, it does show you a little notification. So it'll show like a, a number sign indicating that you have a message, but it's not really all up in your face just yet where there's no sound, there's no like, you know, something popping up. So um, I do think that the notifications um, are easier to be missed in ClickUp. So that is something that I've noticed, but I think that this is a new ClickUp function. So I'm sure that this is something that the ClickUp team is aware of and probably going to hopefully add in soon. Some notifications, sound notifications would be very awesome for chat. While we wait for that import, let's go into chat and um, just kind of check out some of the functions. These little sections that you see here, I've actually created these myself. And the way that you create a section is if I have my visually marketing, for example, I'm able to click on the three dots up here and hit move to section and I can select an existing section I've created or I can create a new section. So if I want this in my lists, say for example, I'm just trying to kind of organize like these are my spaces, these are just general click up chats and then visually marketing is actually going to be a list that gets created. So I'm going to say this is my list. Maybe I'll do a pen. Let's do that. All right. So now I have this section for my list. So I have my spaces general. I wonder if I can drag or maybe you can and maybe I just don't know how to, but this is new to me too. So um, just learning as I go here. All right, I can see that the import is still going, but you'll see my channels are getting created. I saw that the visually marketing, this is one of our channels. It is bringing in all of the activity. I can see that there are some attachments too. So that is fantastic. So this is a very powerful and easy import that didn't take that long. It wasn't that difficult to map out and it is really just able to pull everything into ClickUp so that you can just start using ClickUp immediately for your communication and just kind of move away from Slack, which is quite nice. I can see my other channels are creating created as well. So for social media marketing, I had said that, hey, let me have a couple of the chats get created as lists. And just so you see how it looks like, it creates a folder called public channels, and that is where it creates your list. So if you want, like I said, if you want your channels to also get created as a list, you can rather than hitting new chat in the drop down, you can hit the space that you want to add it to, and it will create a folder of public channels and it'll add that in there. And when you have the channel with the list, you'll see that your chat is right up there as well. All right, so you can access it from your list or you can go into chats and access it. So I can see that a lot of my lists are getting created. I'm The import is still happening, but if I go across my different chats, I'll see all of my conversation, my conversations with my different team members. So I think this is pretty cool. Let me know if you have any questions and if you have used ClickUp chats or if you're planning on using it, let me know what you think of it. All right, thank you guys.